Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana. Today is day 307 of my HRT and day 277 since I started estrogen. Mm, quick physical updates. You know, like slower ha hair growth, but still, it's still there, it, but it's a lot slower. Um, boobs are still growing, but just kind of eh, slower, which might change if I get my increased dosage of estrogen. Um, I have a blood work tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, this coming Tuesday, and then the Tuesday after that will be to see the doctor, my doctor's appointment. So, in theory, two more weeks, I should have my increased dosage. Alright, so that's that. Anything else? Mm. Oh, actually, there is something else. Oh my goodness. So, this is... I don't know, like, how to explain this. I don't know if it's because of the estrogen or not, but... Um, I'm noticing a lot of... Stretch marks. <laughs> Mostly on my, on my thighs, like this part. And this part. And... I don't know, like, it's not, it's not a lot, I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot, <laughs> it's, it's a lot, but it's not, like, really big, it's, like, I can see it, but it's not, like, it's not, like, you can see it from afar, at least I don't think you can, I don't know, but the point is, they're there, and uh, it sucks. This might just be completely because of my lack of exercising, which I am trying to fix. So, um, you know, I told you guys about playing badminton last time, and it was like it was really it was really bad and triggering. So, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm thinking of. For the next time I play badminton, ooh, this is a really deep conversation. I'm not sure I'm willing to get there right now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's finish up this real quick. Um, so yeah, stretch marks, and that's about it. No more physical update. That's it. Mm, moving on. So, so what what I've done to start playing badminton again is um one of the things I did is I've cut my nails like really really short <laughs> this like this is actually I cut off half like I told them to cut off half of it today so this used to be doubled like it used to be like this long <laughs> now it's like half of what it used to be and this one is completely gone and the reason I had to cut this one off is because when I hold, like when I grip the badminton racket, I have to be able to close my hand. Cause, and if I don't, like if I didn't cut my nails, it, it would like, like it would poke into my own hand, like if you see it from here. Like, like if I grip it, it would just stab myself. So I can't play badminton like that. So. One of the steps I've taken to start playing badminton again is to trim my fingernails. <laughs> um, the second thing is I bought some extra um, <laughs> extra bras. <laughs> I bought a sports bra and other bras. Um, basically, something that I've learned from my last experience was that. After I finished playing, I was super sweaty, and my sports bra was like completely wet. I bought, like, I brought a change of clothes, 
but I did not bring a change of bra. <laughs> so what ended up happening was the bra would like soak through the clean shirt and it was really gross. It didn't feel good and it was like I was on the bus thinking, oh wow, I'm really stupid. I should have brought an extra bra. So, you know, so I got that going. Um, right. Um, and the next time I play, I'm not going to be able to, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm probably not going to stuff my bra. <laughs> um, as well as I might like not do my makeup as well. I don't know. Like I might just do my eyebrows, but no. I don't know. I might still do it. I probably will. <laughs> um. So those are the couple of things. Um. Yeah, it's it's gonna be uncomfortable for a bit. I think. I don't know like how long it's gonna take for my boobs to grow. Well, I guess I do know. They say it's like two to three years. So <laughs> I guess I guess I got that to look forward to. Two to three years. Um, yeah, um, I'm really hoping to get back into working out. And just in general, like I feel really. I don't know. Icky is the word I'm looking for. Like, I'm not moving enough. I feel I feel like I'm not getting enough exercise, and it's really starting to bother me. So I have to play badminton. I just like it's the only thing I've ever played, and it was the only exercise I've ever <laughs> I've ever done. So I gotta get back into it. So that's that. Let's let's enough ranting on that. Um, so what I actually wanted to talk about today was, um, my name. So, never really talked about this too much. My name on this channel is Diana Bosco. Diana would be my first name, Bosco would be my last name. Um... Now, I love the first name, Diana, and I, I don't know, I guess I could tell you guys how I picked Diana, <laughs> and who it's like named after. Um, I picked Diana because of um, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I think I've already said this before. <laughs> yeah, I may have already. I picked Diana because of Wonder Woman, basically. I, I do... I do love the idea that I'm named after like two princesses <laughs> because I totally like self identify as a princess. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what that means. I just know that that's how I feel. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So that's that's how I got my name Diana. And, you know, I, I love it, right? Like, th those are great. Those are great characters. I love. I love Wonder Woman. So my last name. My last name is Bosco, which is the name my mom gave me. And um, I was actually named after a saint, like Saint John Bosco. Uh, now the the thing, the reason originally I kept this name was because I wanted a connection to my past. But then, like this morning, I had a dream. I I didn't. I don't know if it was a dream or if I was just sinking in my bed half asleep or whatever. But I had a dream. I dreamt about. Like my past, I dreamt about like my godmother, I dreamt about my mom, and all of that stuff, right? All of that connection that I used to have but no longer have. 
And then, and then I woke up resenting my last name, resenting it because I kept it for, I kept it for them. I kept that name because I didn't want them to think I was a completely different person. I wanted them to feel like I'm still me. That's why I kept Bosco. And now my mom completely just rejected me at the start. But my godmother, who I love like my own mom, like I've always considered myself to have having two mom and no dad. <laughs> and like my godmother has been my godmother since I was seven and like I love her so much. I I really do. I love her like my own mom. And now when I first came up to her, she didn't like outright reject me. But she certainly wasn't happy about it. She did she wasn't approving of it. But she said she would try <laughs> or or something along that line. Like she didn't say she would try to accept it, but she would try to understand, I think. Which, you know, for me was was a great like response given what my mom had told me, right? <laughs> so so and at this point I haven't actually chosen my name yet. I like I'm working on it, I'm playing around with different names. So I haven't really chosen it yet. But then I, at this point I realized whatever name I pick, I'm gonna need a last name. And I think I would keep Bosco just because well I didn't want to keep any of my Chinese names because well one of them was for my dad which I haven't seen him since I was like seven so I'm certainly not gonna carry his name around forever um, and the other two is like it just causes confusion like Chinese names just cause confusion so I'm like these are out and then I have Bosco left and in my mind at the time, it was like, I don't hate the name. I, and I have been Bosco, like, all my life at that time. So if I had to give myself a last name, Bosco would have been all right. It would have been like a connection to, to my past, to, from my past to my present. Like it would be, it would give me a sense of continuation, rather than a disconnect, and and so I picked it. Um, I picked it for that and for the fact that it would be. I was thinking it would be easier for my family and friends to know that I had kept my last name as Bosco, who they knew me as. So I woke up this morning and I was like, "Holy crap!" I kept this name for them, but nobody <laughs> from my past even talks to me anymore. Why am I keeping this name? <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I woke up, I was really distraught. I was like, why am I keeping this? My mom doesn't talk to me. My godmother doesn't talk to me anymore. My friends since high school, gone. Um, my, my cousins, gone, um, friends and family of, of my past just disappeared. So it was like that continuation with this last name had, had no meaning anymore. Uh, well, maybe it had some, but it was like, it was bad. It was like a bad reminder of what a fool I was <laughs> to have surrounded myself with all these people that are so unaccepting, close-minded, unable to be reasoned with. That's who surround. That's. Who that was my whole life. I was surrounded by these people. 
and I'm still doing things for them, such as keeping this name for them. For what? So they feel a little bit more familiar to me, even though they don't talk to me anymore, or don't even probably think about me anymore? Like, why? So, I got mad at myself, like, I'm still doing things for them, but they're not, they don't even care about me anymore. So it's like, what the heck, why am I still doing this? So, anyways, my point is, I'm looking for a new last name. <laughs> I, I have also considered the option of having no last name, just, I just want to be Diana. Maybe Diana Diana. Two Dianas. <laughs> uh, maybe Diana and then something else. To be determined. Mm. The trouble of this is I've kind of already registered Diana Bosco under several things like like my school transcripts and stuff. Mm. my bank card which can easily be changed well the good news is it, my name change hasn't been finalized yet still and I might just end up keeping Bosco just because I don't want to go through the hassle of changing emails and going and like technically speaking I can still be okay with Bosco because, you know, I lived a whole bunch of years of my life as Bosco, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's still meaningful to me. And it could be like a good reminder of, a good constant reminder of picking people that are worthy of your time. In your because all that time I spent in my life around these people, and in the end they didn't care. I I I want to say I did a lot for them, but apparently I didn't, or it wasn't enough, or it didn't matter. Whatever the case, it is. It did. It just at this point in my life. All of that time was being wasted. It just it's such a waste. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, I, I super ranted this one. It is now 18 minutes in and I got I'm gonna end it right now. So um um thank you for watching everybody. Um if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I will check it out. Um my links to my social medias is in my description. Um, if you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to help me out, you can go to my GoFundMe, which is in my this links is in my description. Um, yeah, that's it. So happy Thursday! Hope everybody has a great weekend coming up, and um. See you all on Monday. <laughs> oh, also, look at my flowers. They're still, like, blooming. They're, like, so, like, they've opened up so much. It's so pretty. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Ciao. <laughs>